conservation that's been occurring on the Channel Islands. And so the talk today is really focusing on all of the different changes that we're seeing in terms of new breeding records for species for the Channel Islands and new breeding records for individual species that we know breed on some of the islands but now breed on more of the islands. And so, uh, next slide. Um, so, the last arch ar archipelago-wide uh, compilation of breeding ava fauna of the Channel Islands uh, were in 1976 and 1980 for the land birds, and in 1980 and 1992 for the seabirds. However, these previous published inventories of this ava fauna failed to include data on the game birds, the introduced game birds, uh, the waterfowl, uh, grebes, rails and coots, and herons. We're left out of uh, both of those kinds of compilations. Next slide. For this study, a wide variety of uh, sources, both published and unpublished, were examined for information related to the uh, breeding status changes that I'm going to report on today. Next slide. Factors which contributed, uh, that are contributing to breeding avifaunal change on the islands include, first, a whole series of conservation actions uh, that have been taking place, such as the removal of golden eagles and introduced mammals from the islands, the reintroduction of bald eagles and peregrine falcons, back onto the islands, and um, the decline and subsequent recovery of the island fox populations on the northern channel islands. Second would be the successional changes that have been taking place in terrestrial habitats following the removal of herbivores with grasslands declining, scrublands and woodlands increasing, and freshwater marsh and riparian habitats recovering. Third would be the decline in the uh, contaminant DDE in the marine environment of the Southern California Bight which has led to the recovery of species that were impacted during the 1960s and 70s as a result of this pesticide. Next slide. The start date for recovery of the vegetation on each of the islands uh, varies um, on the final removal dates for the introduced herbivores for each island. So the first islands to be free of herbivores, so if you look at the bottom line down here, grazer free, those would be the, the years in which the uh, herbivores were finally removed completely from a given island. So the first, uh, uh, first islands to be free of herbivores were Anacapa in 1937, Santa Barbara in 1946, and San Nicolas in 1949. The larger islands uh, were not free of herbivores until 1993 for San Clemente, 2006 for Santa Cruz, and 2013 for Santa Rosa. And uh, for Catalina, we still have mule deer and American bison as herbivores present on Catalina. Next slide. For all of the tables that I'm going to present the data in from this point on in the talk, um, I use yellow to denote uh, either a new species record if it's listed uh, with the name in yellow, or individual changes in status, in breeding status on an island. If it's a new breeding record for an island, then that's listed in yellow, or if it's been extirpated from an island, it's listed in yellow. Uh, the tables are organized again north to south with the left-hand column starting with San Miguel, all the way to the right hand columns being San Clemente, so that you can kind of follow through as I've organized the data. Um, previous compilations of the breeding ava fauna of the Channel Islands failed to record the breeding distribution and status of the introduced game fauna on the islands. As a result, um, this report that we're giving today really documents uh, for the first time that the five of the six species of game birds introduced to, onto the islands uh, are recorded for the first time uh, as breeders on the islands, even though they were introduced. Um, also, the introduction of uh, the Catalina, California quail to Santa Cruz and Santa Rosa Islands uh, represents uh, new island breeding occurrences for this island endemic that's found on Catalina Island. Of the six species of game birds introduced to the islands, only three, the California, California quail, gambles, gambles quail, and chucker, remain today on one or more of the islands. Two of, the two of the introduced species, Indian peafowl and wild turkey, were actively removed from Santa Cruz Island by the Nature Conservancy, or they disappeared on their own accord from Catalina Island. Next slide. The development of freshwater marsh habitat in drainages on the larger islands following the removal of herbivores has provided a suitable breeding habitat for a variety of birds. Five species have nested for the first time on one or more of the islands including gadwall on Santa Rosa, cinnamon teal on San Nicolas, pie-billed green, uh, common gallinule, and common yellowthroat on Catalina. Mallards now breed on five of the islands. 
ruddy duck breeding on two of the islands, and Virginia rails are suspected of breeding uh, since 2008 in marsh habitat found in Lobo Canyon on Santa Rosa Island. Uh, next slide. Nine raptors have nested on one or more of the islands, uh, with white-tailed kite, northern harrier, and golden eagle recorded as new breeders to the islands. White-tailed kites have nested several times recently on San Clemente Island. Reintroduction programs during the past 30 years have reestablished bald eagles and peregrine falcons back onto the Channel Islands as resident breeders. Bald eagles now breed on five of the eight islands, with San Miguel, San Nicolas, and Santa Barbara Islands not yet supporting uh, nesting bald eagles. Peregrine falcons now nest on all eight of the islands. Northern Harriers nested on San Miguel Island uh, from 2002 to 2006 during a period when island foxes were being kept in on island captive breeding facilities. Golden eagles nested on Santa Cruz and Santa Rosa Island beginning sometime in the mid to late 1980s and continued uh, <coughs> uh, to nest until 2006 when the last breeding pair was removed from Santa Cruz Island. Next slide. Four of the seven birds in these four families have been documented uh, or are suspected to be nesting for the first time on one or more of the islands. These include great blue heron on the four largest islands, black crowned night herons on Catalina Island, black neck stilt on Santa Rosa Island, and hybrid American oyster catchers, which are suspected of occasionally nesting or pairing up and nesting with uh, black oyster catchers on five of the islands. Kildare have been recently uh, reported nesting for the first time on San Miguel Island, San Nicolas Island, and San Clemente Island. Next slide. There are a number of new island breeding uh, records for some of these eight species of seabirds. Ashy storm petrels have been confirmed to be nesting on Anacapa and San Clemente Islands, uh, where they were suspected to be nesting but had not been confirmed previously. Leech's storm petrels uh, were confirmed recently to be nesting on Ship Rock off the Isthmus at uh, Santa Catalina Island. Brown pelicans nested in 2006 on Prince Island for the first time since the 1960s and have also nested for the first time ever on San Clemente Island in 2011. There are also new breeding colonies that have been uh, discovered for double crested cormorants uh, on Santa Rosa Island, Santa Cruz Island, uh, San Nicolas, and San Clemente Islands. And for pelagic cormorants um, on San, uh, new colonies uh, or new breeding occurrences on San Nicolas and San Clemente Islands. Uh, next slide. Of the 10 species of seabirds uh, in these two families, four are new breeders to the uh, Channel Islands. A California gull a nested or attempted to nest on East Anacapa Island in 2013 and 2014. Caspian terns nested on Bird Rock at Catalina Island in 2005. 2012 and 2013. Common herbs uh, were recorded nesting in 2007 and 2011 on Prince Island, where they last nested in 1912. Scripps murrelets were confirmed recently to be nesting on, on Catalina and San Clemente Islands. With the eradication of black rats from Anacapa Island in 2001 and 2002, the breeding population of Scripps murrelets on Anacapa has been increasing and small numbers of Cassin's auklets and actually storm petrels have recently been confirmed to also be nesting on Anacapa Island. Guadalupe murrelets nested in 1977 and 78 on Santa Barbara Island and are suspected uh, to be nesting or attempting to nest on San Clemente Island. Uh, a small colony of rhinoceros auklets nested at Prince Island from 1991 until 2007. Tufted puffins nested on, on Prince Island in 1991 to 1997 and have not returned to nest uh, at this locale since. Next slide. Of the eight non-passering land birds that have nested on the island, spotted doves and chartered owls are new breeders for the islands. A small number of spotted doves have been uh, nesting in Avalon and two harbors on Santa Catalina Island since at least 1966 and had not previously been reported to be nesting on the island. Several pairs of short-eared owls nested on Santa Barbara Island, off and on, from 1980 uh, to 2001. Other new island breeding records include um, rock pigeon on Santa Rosa Island, morning dove on Anacap and Santa Barbara Islands, uh, barn owl on Santa Rosa Island, San Nicholas Island, Catalina Island, and burrowing owl on San Clemente Island. Next slide. 
Next slide. Late spring and summer sightings, a common orwell on uh, the three largest islands, suggest that this species may also be nesting. However, firm da uh, data to uh, confirm that they, uh, such as nest eggs and nestlings or fledglings have yet to be found for this species um, on any of the Channel Islands. Uh, and as hummingbirds are now nesting on San Miguel, Santa Rosa, San Nicolas, and San Clemente Islands, uh, where they had not previously been known to nest. Acorn woodpecker has recently uh, begun to nest in woodlands on Santa Rosa Island, uh, where they were not previously known to nest. Okay, next slide. So for the remaining passerine tables that I'm going to present data on, I'm only, I'm only including uh, passerines that have showed changes, either changes in uh, uh, additional islands that they're nesting on where they haven't been recorded nesting before, or new breeding records or suspected breeding records. So it's not a complete listing of all passerines um, that are known to nest on the islands. So three species that uh, may be new to the islands as breeders include warbling vireo and American crow on Catalina, on Catalina, and Canyon Wren on Santa Cruz Island. Uh, Black Phoebe uh, have been uh, uh, recorded nesting for the first time on, on San Miguel, and, uh, and Kappa, San Nicholas, and San Clemente Islands. Other new, uh, new nesting records for the islands include common bush tit on Santa Rosa Island, uh, violet green swallow on Santa Cruz Island, blue gray gnatcatcher and Swainson's thrush on Santa Catalina Island. Loss of open grassland habitat on the islands following the removal of feral herbivores has resulted in loggerhead shrikes disappearing uh, as occasional breeders on San Miguel, Anacapa, and Santa Barbara Islands and declining on Santa Cruz and Santa Catalina Islands. Other species that have disappeared as nesters on some of the islands include common raven on Santa Barbara and San Nicolas Islands and hornlark on West Anacapa Island. Next slide. New breeding records on one or more of the islands include American Robin, Common Yellowthroat, and Dark-Eyed Junko on Santa Cruz Island, Song Sparrow on Anacapa Island, Painted Papilla and Common Yellowthroat on Catalina Island, Black Tin Sparrow on San Clemente Island, and Grasshopper Sparrows on most of the larger islands. Most of these new uh, breeding range extensions on the islands are a result of successional changes that are taking place in terrestrial habitats following the removal of herbivores. Or in the case of Song Sparrows on Anacapa Island, uh, the removal of black rats. European starlings have disappeared as breeders uh, from San Miguel, Anacapa, and San Barbara Islands uh, following the return of peregrine falcons as a uh, resident breeder on the continent. Next slide. Black headed grosbeaks are now a summer breeder on Santa Cruz Island and a suspected summer breeder on Catalina Island. Lazuli buntings uh, have bred for the first time on Santa Rosa and San Clemente Islands and are suspected of breeding on Santa Cruz and San Catalina Islands. Hooded Orioles have nested for the first time on Santa Cruz Island, and house finches have disappeared as a breeder from Santa Barbara Island, while red crossbills are still an unconfirmed breeder for Santa Cruz Island. Lester goldfinches are suspected to be nesting on San Clemente Island, uh, but firm proof of breeding has yet to be uh, found. Uh, next slide. So if we look at the numbers of native species recorded breeding on each of the islands, it ranges from a high of 70 species for Santa Cruz Island to a low of 28 species for San Nicolas Island. Santa Rosa Island has fewer species uh, relative to the size when uh, compared to the number of species recorded uh, breeding on Santa Catalina and San, San Clemente Island. Uh, in general, the larger islands uh, support a greater number of species, and the smaller islands support uh, fewer numbers of breeding species. Next slide. The three most common ecological groupings of birds documented to be nesting on the islands include passerines, seabirds, and raptors. Uh, the smaller islands, such as San Miguel, Anacapa, and Santa Barbara Islands, support the greatest number of breeding seabirds, while the larger islands support uh, the only breeding occurrences of waterfowl, breeders, and herons. Next slide. As bare ground and introduced annual grasslands have been declining following the removal of herbivores, and subsequent vegetation succession is occurring. At least seven species of birds that prefer the open ground and short grass grassland have been, have been showing uh, population declines. These would include American kestrel, morning dove, burrowing owl, hornlark, lover, and tripe, European starling, and house, house finch. Initially, after grazing, uh, animals were removed from the islands. Grasslands showed an increase in the density of vegetative cover 
and then the amount of accumulated fat. At least two species of birds have benefited from this initial change that uh, took place in, in, in the overall structure of introduced annual grasslands, uh, with grasshopper sparrows beginning to breed on the islands for the first time, uh, and with rufous crown sparrow populations increasing both in their distribution and abundance on Santa Cruz Island. Next slide. As coastal sage scrub and chaparral expand on the islands, a number of uh, scrub inhabiting species, such as the Oxarans, spotted towhee, rufous crown sparrow, and lazuli bunting, uh, are expected to benefit uh, with their breeding populations increasing on the islands. Next slide. Uh, pine and oak woodlands and their understory subshrub and herbaceous habitats are expected to expand on the islands. Species that will benefit from an increase in these woodland uh, in this woodland habitat would include island scrub jay, Huggins vireos, bush tit, blue gray gnatcatcher, American robin, painted pepper, and black headed grosbeak. As the understory habitat in this in, in woodlands, comprised of sub shrubs and herbaceous uh, growth, improves um, in, in these in these woodlands, ground and near brown nesters like orange crown warbler, spotted towhee, song sparrow, and dark eyed jumpos will benefit from the development of this understory habitat in woodlands on the larger islands. Uh, next slide. Development of freshwater marsh along uh, streams and around the margins of wetlands and man-made impoundments on the islands following the removal of the introduced herbivores has generated preferred breeding habitat for a number of wetland uh, dependent species such as Virginia rail, American coot, mallard, and ruddy duck, and for land birds such as common yellow throat, uh, song sparrow, and red and blackbird. Next slide. As riparian woodlands develop along uh, drainage, drainages on the larger islands, species like a northern flicker, uh, Pacific slope flycatcher, ash throated flycatcher, warbling vireo, and swainson thrush are all expected uh, to benefit from an increase of this habitat uh, along the larger drainages on Santa Rosa, Santa Cruz, and Catalina Island. Okay, next slide. So in conclusion, uh, a total of 105 species have been recorded breeding uh, on one or more of the of the islands during the past 150 years uh, since records have been kept. As the islands have transitioned from private ownership and ranching into public ownership and conservation, at least 27 species are recorded breeding for the first time on the islands, with an additional eight species suspected to be breeding for the first time. We've recorded a total of 67 new island-specific breeding occurrences and 59 additional island-specific uh, changes in breeding status of birds nesting on the, on the Channel Islands since 1980. Three species, common peafowl, wild turkey, and golden eagle, uh, have been eradicated recently from the islands. Next slide. Two species, bald eagle, per, peregrine and falcons, have been reintroduced back onto the islands and are now resident and breeding again on one or more of the islands where they had bred historically. Following the removal of herbivores, at least five species have disappeared as breeders on uh, some of the islands uh, where they were known to have bred in the past. These species include loggerhead tripe on San Miguel, Anacapa, and Santa Barbara Island, uh, hornlark on Anacapa Island, and common raven on San Nicolas and Santa Barbara Islands, European starling on San Miguel Island, Anacapa Island, and Santa Barbara Islands, and uh, house midges on Santa Barbara Island. Next slide. And these are a few pictures of some of these new breeding occurrences uh, that we've been able to document uh, in the recent past on the different islands. So, questions?